We have a cure for HIV and hepatitis C. That remains the promise made by Egyptian armed forces. After the announcement was made months ago, critics have been accusing the armed forces of using the cure for political gains, particularly for the presidential election. Now that it's been delayed, many of them doubt that a team capable of creating such a medicine wouldn't know how long it takes to test their cure. The influential April 6 movement says the army is emotionally manipulating millions of Egyptians. But the army's medical team says it merely needs more time to test the cure. Some medical experts say the announcement may have been premature when considering how medical research works. There are four phases of research that must be taken before commercially releasing a medicine. It must be tested with many numbers. What the army had earlier announced shows it was still at stage two. The third phase must include thousands of patients treated in many centers. They must give them the medication in a scientific manner and they must be in a control group. All of this requires a lot of time. But that still doesn't answer the question, is there a cure? Earlier this year, scientists criticized the army's announcement saying if a cure does exist, it needs more than just one press statement. Furthermore, the army has so far declined to provide scientific details of the cure. In science, there must be no secrecy. This is very important. We are very happy that it's such an invention, but every step of research must be published first. I cannot say I did something in science without having it published. So the question still remains, why didn't they announce these results in a scientific conference? So certainly a controversial topic, and one that will only be clarified in six months. Millions across the world will have to wait until then to discover the truth behind the claims. Adel Mahrui, CCTV, Cairo.